guys and welcome to this latest Photoshop tutorial here on psdvout.com YouTube channel. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the method that I use to add these flowery patterns onto this model's image. If you wanted to check out the full tutorial of this, um, this artwork, uh, you can just click on the uh, link below and uh, have a full tutorial on my blog. In this video tutorial, I'll just be showing you the uh, flowery pattern part of the full tutorial. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go to this uh, layered Photoshop file here. As you can see, I have already got a a model image on the canvas and also uh, applied um, some layer mask onto this model's facial area. We'll just be starting with adding the flower on top of this um, model's face. All right, so we've got a, a stock image here. What we can do is to use the lasso tool, set the feather to 40 pixels, just make a selection like this. And um, I wanted to just copy and copy that selection. Just paste that on top of the uh, model's layer. Want to just use the free transform tool uh, just to reduce its size a little bit so it only covers the facial area also just make sure you right click on the layer and set it as a uh, as a clipping mask of the all these uh, layers below once uh, the layers becomes a, a clipping mask, you will see this little down arrow next to the layer. So that means the layer is a clipping mask of the layer below. Okay, so we can grab the eraser tool. Make sure you use, use a solid hard brush. Uh, hardness is 100%. I just use, I'll just use the, the second brush options here. Now just just use this brush, gently go over this flowery layer here. Now you want to make sure you review the eye area and also review the nose and lips. As you can see, I also work on the edge a little bit just to leave uh, this tiny little bit on the edge. This uh, flower pattern uh, will surround the model's face. Yeah. This really is up to you how much of the face you wanted to cover. Uh, with the flowers, um, yeah, depending on your uh, own sort of style. Yeah, so this. Just make sure you work on the edge. Just tidy up a the edge a little bit as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Also, we can go back to the uh, flower stock image. Just select some of the flowers with a quick selection tool. Like this. It doesn't have to be a precise selection, you just just some rough selection would do. And once you finish your selection, just copy that selection, paste that below the model layer, and 
also wanted to just resize that layer as well. We wanted to just to get rid of those uh, uh, green bits uh, with a razor tool. Yeah, that will do. And uh, why not you just to go to image adjustments levels? Just make just adjust the the contrast of the flower a little bit. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. As you can see, we can duplicate this layer a few more times. Resize and scatter them scatter that around the uh, around the canvas just, just make sure you resize them as well just to ensure a little bit more variety now it's going to turn on those uh, layers that I hidden previously. So that's all these flower layers that I added. As you can see, I have tons of those uh, flowers in the center. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's all about selection. The selection of the flower and uh, the use of the uh, the hard eraser and uh, if you're lucky uh, the use of great uh, graphic tablet and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it this is my final effect for the um, for this artwork so uh, yeah, if you wanted to check out the full tutorial, just uh, click on the link below. Thank you very much and have a nice day.